So you probably found this video because you're having problems with your uh, alarm keypad. Uh, it's not working and you're trying to figure out what's wrong with it. So the keypad that I'm having problems with is a two gig keypad. And it, the steps that I'm gonna show you, it really doesn't matter what brand of keypad you have. Uh, the steps are all gonna be the same to check. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to check is to make sure that you don't have any blown circuit breakers. So I've gone down all these and I don't have any tripped. So I know that that's not an issue. Next, we're gonna to wanna to identify the transformer. Usually it's directly right below the keypad. And sometimes it could be a little bit farther away, but usually they're not too far away from the keypad. So the next step is we're gonna test the transformer. Now, to accurately do it, you're gonna need a multimeter if you wanna know for sure. So this transformer is a 14 volt DC. So I'm gonna change my dial to the DC symbol. And that's the long line on top with the three dots down below. And that's how I identify it on the meter. So what I did is I put an extension cord on this so I wouldn't have to undo the, the wire terminals and pull the wire off to test it. Uh, so you can either do it this way or you can unscrew these and take it off and test it on a bench or something on a counter and see what the voltage is. But this is how I found that it's easier to do. So I'm going to go ahead and test it and hopefully you can see that down. Yeah, my hands are probably in the way. Let me move that over. So I'm getting 14 volts and that's what the transformer is rated at. So if you didn't get any voltage off of this, now it could be AC or it could be DC. If it was AC, uh, you'd flip it to AC and the transformer is going to have written on it. Um, yeah, I can't see that. Probably can't see it anyways but it's gonna say what the voltage is. So it says it's 14 volts, and it doesn't actually say DC, but it's got the symbol, the long line, and then three dots below it, which is the DC symbol. If it was AC, it would be a wave, or it might say AC, or it could say DC, <laughs> but at least then you would know what you're checking. So. I'm good at the transformer. Typically, that's where you're gonna have your issue is it's going to uh, not have power. It may even look brown around the edges. It might be swollen, uh, the transformer. And those are signs that either the transformer is bad or it's going bad. Um, so you can look by just looking at it and seeing the condition of it. If you can't tell anything like mine, mine looks pretty good. Um, and we check the voltage, so we know it's not the um, it's not the transformer. So let's move on to the next step. So next, we're going to check the power going to the keypad itself. So I'm going to just unscrew this top screw is how you take off the two gigs and now I've actually already unscrewed it. <laughs> so yours might take you a little longer. So now we're going to see if there's power. Now if there's power here then chances are my keypad is bad. Now if there isn't power here then chances are it's gonna be the wire from here going down to my transformer. That, that's not as likely, but it could be. So 
I'm going to so my meter has a little magnet thank goodness and I'm going to have it sit there and let me get on the other side so I can we can see if there's power there now there's no power there so I know that either I'm going to have a problem with one of the connections probably on either my transformer or my uh, keypad itself, the terminals, or it could be my wiring's bad. There could be something from going from here to there that could be bad. Now I, I unplugged mine so that I could do that. So I'm going to plug it back in and we're going to see that there's 14 volts there. So, let me turn on the light so you guys can see. So I'm gonna test it right now, and we have the 14 volts. Since we do have 14 volts at the keypad, then I would say there's something wrong with the keypad, and we would need to replace it, just process of elimination. It's got power, and the keypad isn't functioning, so, so I would say yes, we need to replace the keypad. Usually it's the transformer, uh, but in this case, it would be the keypad. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you'd like to see other videos of home automation or alarm system problems or uh, some do-it-yourself videos. We have a bunch of other videos. I will throw a link down below for a cheap multimeter from Amazon if you don't have one. Um, it's probably a good idea to get one. Uh, you can check outlets with it. There's lots of uses. You can check continuity. Um, anyways, for under $10, you can't you can't beat one. I'll throw a link down below. Uh, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.